Corporal Sergeant Thomas and Russ Witherby are the leaders in ice dancing after the original set pattern phase of the competition. Last year they were in a similar position, but dropped a second after the free dance. This year they've come to Orlando with the top spot in mind. Here's a closer look at this couple with Julie Moran. When April Sargent and Russ Witherby finished third at the 88 Nationals, they put their Olympic dreams on hold. But they figured their time, 92, would come. But four years later, they're still looking for their first national title after finishing second for the third straight time in 91. It's the best thing that ever happened to us. Yeah, it and really was. We made a big change and we moved to Toronto in um, June and started with a new coach and different choreographers and just did everything different and it, it's been great for us. It's a miracle they're here at all. April underwent emergency surgery on December 21st to stop internal bleeding that was caused by a ruptured cyst. A normal recovery period of four to six weeks would have ended their Olympic bid. I don't feel sick anymore. I have to keep reminding myself so that I'm careful. Um, uh, when I was in the hospital just out of surgery, I didn't think that I would be here. And I was, you know, I think both of us were dealing with the fact that, okay, we're not gonna go to nationals, we're not gonna make the team, and it, we were devastated. April's parents have watched their daughter's every move this week, as has her husband of four months, Jonathan Thomas. Each day I add a little bit more, and it, it's proved to, to be the right thing to do, because um, we feel good now. This couple, April Sargent Thomas, and she skated under the name April Sargent for years and was married within the past year. Her partner, Russ Witherby, April is 23 years old from Ogdensburg, New York. Witherby is from Cincinnati. He is 29. They were in first place after the original set pattern dance and again have to finish either first or second to win a trip to Alberville next month. This entire number is one designed to show beautiful skating, a spiritual influence. It's intended to be easy, laid back and reserved, and to build gradually through the whole number. At least one good effect came out of her surgery, and that was the loss of some seven pounds. To April Sergeant Thomas, it certainly looks good in the line that she's creating here in this ice dance. But she also has to hope it didn't sap too much of her strength because that surgery took place just three weeks ago. She's been very careful. difference in their ice dancing this year from last year has been almost a 360 degree change. This midnight run, the blues movement, just first rate. It's just terrific.
she said in the piece, nothing was going to stop her on their way to the Olympics, and they are skating like it. Sergeant Thomas and Witherby, the pair that has finished second in each of the last three national championships. Well, they you know, it, all was in 92. E it was easy, it was laid back, it was reserved, and it was lovely to watch. Their marks when we come back. The technical merit marks for April Sergeant Thomas and Russ Witherby range from 5.5 through 5.8. And those look pretty nice, pretty mm -hmm. nice. It was an elegant program, and it was a, a, just a charming yeah. development of ice dancing, the thought and the concept behind it. And the crowd enjoyed it very much, and uh, this couple will enjoy their marks for composition and style, 5.6 through 5.8, because those marks are good enough to have won for them the 1992 National Championship. A look at the final and official results in ice dancing. April Sergeant Thomas and Russ Witherby finish first in a stunning upset. Rachel Mayer and Peter Breen wind up second. Those two couples will be going to Alberville and the 1992 Winter Olympics. Last year's champions, Punselin and Swallow, finished third. And a look at some of the others in the ice dancing competition here in Orlando, Florida. Let's meet the national champions with Julie Moran. First of all, congratulations. And April, did you have any concerns about skating so soon after surgery? Um, all week long, practice has been going so well that I kind of forgot about the last two weeks. And uh, getting ready tonight, I had a little twinge of the nerves thinking about it, but I just blocked it out and it felt fine. Russ, as her partner, you must have had great concerns. Tell us about what you were feeling when she was going through her difficulties. Well, you know, um, through the um, training prior to this competition, we really tried to be as focused as we could the whole time and just keep ourselves on an even keel each day and just take it step by step and that's what really got us through this. Congratulations and best of luck in Albertville. Thank you. Thank you. All that taking place last